Hey guys, I'm Elite Series Pro Dave Lefebvre, and today we're doing what I like to do a lot. Being a northern guy, you know, we get on some massive grass flats and try to cover water, finding fish sometimes. You know, it's a needle in a haystack. So today, we're not in my neck of the woods, but this kind of technique works anywhere in the country. We're down here in Florida doing the same thing I would do, you know, up in my own backyard. So we're covering water, looking for fish on a flat. One of the cool things about fishing this way is it works almost any time of the year. You can do this pre-spawn, literally right after ice out. There's grass areas, there's grass that doesn't really die in the winter, you know? Any time of the year you can find fish on grass flats or even on, on flats that usually have grass that the grass isn't even there yet. So it's a one-two combination, but it's the same bait rigged two different ways. It's all about bait fish where we're fishing right now. So I'm just covering water with a Senko. When you don't know what to throw, a Senko is always a good choice. The way that I have it rigged here, I can cover a lot of water fast. I'm almost fishing it more like you would a, you know, like a D-shad or, or any type of minnow type jerk bait, soft bait or even a hard jerk bait. I'm just kind of fishing it fast, covering water. A lot of times when you're fishing grass flats, you're fi the water is cleaner than average. These fish will come up, even if they're buried down in the grass, they'll come up and take a look at this thing. For grass fishing, you know, fishing with this Senko like this. I like a VMC, it's an offset shank, three aught. Um, it's just the perfect size for this bait. The hook is at an angle a little bit, which I've always believed in. A lot of guys actually take their hooks and bend them with pliers. This one comes pre-packaged like that. But it, it's the best of both worlds because if I do happen to locate some fish, I can throw a buoy out. You know, I try to, you know, you want to be secretive when you're doing this type of fishing. Um, little black buoy, I'll throw it out. Also hit a waypoint for backup. And uh, this bait, I can actually catch a few once I find them, but I tend to go to a, a wacky rig once I find them. I'll catch as many as I can on this, and then I'll throw that wacky rig out there on lighter line. It sinks a lot slower, and I usually use it on a spinning rod, you know, once I locate the fish and I'll just wacky rig it just like that. Um, we're around bait fish today, so I'm using a natural shad type of pattern. But man, once you find them, it lights out with this guy. I'm using a, a Concept E here. It's made by 13 Fishing. Uh, you can use an A. I, I have a lot of A's in my arsenal, so. Um, but the main, the main deal is that eight to one. You need something with a lot of speed. You can see to, to get it to pop and, and dance across the surface like that, I gotta reel it really fast. The other part of the combination that I feel is real important is a long rod. This is a 7.6. Most of your normal Senko fishing, you know, you're gonna use a, probably a shorter rod. I like the 7.6, medium heavy. It's got a fast tip, good backbone, but enough forgiveness to let that fish get the bait. So a lot of people associate the Senko with fishing really, really slow, um, but it's real effective as a, as a speed bait too, which I think is really cool. And they blast it when they hit it this way. 